Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Inside Outlander star Lauren Lyle's life. Olympics hopes, net worth, and podcast fame. Best known for her recurring roles as Marsali McKimmy Fraser in the much-loved time-traveling drama Outlander, Lauren Lyle's career has gone from strength to strength over the years. The Glasgow-born actress has played various other notable roles including Jade Antoniak in the BBC drama Vigil, and more recently, the 30-year-old star backed her self-lead role in ITV's Karen Peary. Playing detective surgeon Karen Peary in the crime thriller based on Scott's author Dal McDermott's hugely successful book franchise. Off-screen, the star likes to keep a low profile. However, she keeps her fans updated on her Instagram account, boasting 221,000 followers, where she shares updates on her career, travels, and bits and bobs. Here, we take a closer look into the life of the Scots actress. Since Lauren appeared on Outlander in 2017, rumors have swirled surrounding her dating life. The star has often remained tight-lipped about any relationships she may be in. However, fans of the historical show have often speculated that she is dating on-screen boyfriend Caesar Domboy. Lyle and Domboy share a lot of chemistry both on and off-screen. They both appeared on Outlander as a pair of Marsali and Fergus. The duo seem to spend a lot of time together off-screen too, and during an interview with stars, they reveal that they spend some of their days off venturing around Glasgow. Though this has brought suspicion to the fans, they themselves have neither confirmed nor denied the ongoing speculations about their relationship. It's estimated that the star's net worth is anywhere between £1.2 million. Lauren has carved a career in acting over the past few years, beginning her career in 2014 with the critically acclaimed show The Crucible. Just after a year, she got the opportunity to join the National Youth Theatre's rep program. At the time, she starred in three plays during the season, which included Catherine in Wuthering Heights, Diane in Consensual, and The Prince of Aragon in Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. Lyle then made her television appearance for the first time on BBC Three's BBC Comedy Feeds. Following this, she also appeared in the long-running medical drama Holby City, which featured Lyle as Catherine Rice. Over the years, she has worked in many television series and films including Outlander alongside stars Sam Hewen and Ketriona Balfi. The Vigil star was born on July 12, 1993, in the south side of Glasgow, where her family still reside. Not much is known about her family members, as she hasn't yet introduced them to fans online. Originally pursuing a career with the Scottish Young Conservatives, she made the decision to take up acting. Following her performance at the Edinburgh Fringe for Fourth Monkey and on stage in London in The Crucible, she was accepted to the National Youth Theatre's rep program in 2015. The highly competitive program accepts approximately 15 or 16 actors under the age of 25 who work towards a series of plays performed on London's West End. To many fans' surprise, prior to Lauren's success as an actor, the star was a gymnast representing Scotland and Great Britain. The star previously revealed on social media that she would have been keen to take her gymnastic talents to the Olympics. She also revealed that if she wasn't an actor, she wanted to be a radio DJ, which isn't surprising as she already has her own podcast titled She's a Wreck. In 2020, the star launched her podcast, She's a Wreck, which focuses mainly on recommendations and all about women supporting women. Speaking previously in an interview about her chatty pod, she said, I love podcasts, I always find a lot of comfort, education, and humor in them. Some of my darkest times, I've spent on four-hour walks through London just listening to podcasts. In my 20s, I realized that most of my artistic tastes came from men. All my favorite bands were men. All my favorite films were directed by men. All my favorite books were written by, bar a few, men. It was heavily male-influenced, and I never considered that would be something that affected my taste. So I thought it would be really cool to hear from some of the coolest women of our time now about the albums, films, and books by women that have most influenced them. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.